Because Scientologists are told and believe that they are unique and are better than other human beings because of the special spiritual states they supposedly attain, it's very easy for them to artificially create differences between themselves and the rest of the world, where no such actual differences exist. The spiritual states that Scientology offers are wholly subjective, with no real proof ever having been offered that these higher states even exist, much less that they create more powerful, more able, or more causative human beings. But that doesn't stop Scientologists, even those who haven't even been put through these advanced spiritual procedures, from thinking that they are superior to non-Scientologists. Hubbard even coined terms for non-Scientologists, calling them logs or raw meat. This us versus them mentality goes so far as to bring about the separation of families and friends. When those who are not Scientologists express concern or distress over what the Scientologist is involved in, rather than engage in rational discourse free from any agenda, Scientologists instead are made to do carefully orchestrated PR handlings on their relatives, friends, or associates. If this doesn't work, then the Scientologist must permanently separate. Otherwise, they won't be allowed to do Scientology anymore. This is called disconnection. There is no such thing as religious tolerance or live and let live in Scientology. If you don't agree that Scientology is the best thing that ever happened, you quickly will find Scientologists very reluctant to have anything to do with you.